So being a pharmacologist, I wanted to study the pharmacology of nitric oxide. I mean, what else does this interesting gas do? So we started to examine the effects, and we found that it was a vasodilator. That is, it widens the blood vessels to allow blood to flow through uh, faster. Uh, we found that it inhibited the blood from clotting. You know, you don't want your blood to clot unless you have an injury somewhere. Then you want the blood to clot because then it, f it forms like a dam and, and it blocks the loss of blood from the body. But you don't want the blood to clot normally in your coronary arteries feeding the heart or in your cerebral arteries feeding your brain. If the blood clots in the brain, that's called a stroke. If the blood clots in the heart, that's called a myocardial infarction or heart attack. So a key discovery we made is that nitric oxide prevents blood clotting. It actually slows it down or prevents it. And later on, what that meant was that the nitric oxide in the body can actually prevent stroke and prevent heart attack. So first we studied the pharmacology of nitric oxide, and we found many things. Then we had the idea that perhaps our own bodies make nitric oxide. Maybe we just don't get it from nitroglycerin. This is an important molecule. Maybe our bodies make something like nitric oxide to protect us against heart attack. Maybe people who get heart attacks, people who have diabetes, maybe those people somehow don't have a lot of nitric oxide. These are all the things we were thinking about. So, in 1986, we made the discovery that our bodies do, in fact, make nitric oxide. The arteries make nitric oxide. And one thing led to another. Many people jumped on the bandwagon, and thousands of investigators contributed. And all of us found that the body makes nitric oxide for exactly the reasons that I told you. And that is to prevent stroke, to prevent heart attack, to improve blood flow, under many, many conditions. So that was exciting. Then people wanted to know, OK, well, how does the body make nitric oxide? When does it make nitric oxide? So uh, a group of us found that nitric oxide is actually made from one of the 20 amino acids that exist in the body. The proteins are composed of about 20 amino acids. Amino acids have many different functions also, besides being a part of protein. And it just so happens that nitric oxide is made from the amino acid called arginine, sometimes referred to as L-arginine. Uh, it's also made indirectly from another amino acid called citrulline. These are two very common non-toxic amino acids that our bodies are, are loaded with. And, um, to make a long story short, the more arginine and citrulline you have in your blood vessels, in your blood, uh, the more nitric oxide can be made. Okay, so this led other investigators, especially clinically oriented investigators, to examine patients with high blood pressure, with heart attacks, uh, uh, cardiovascular problems in the family, um, diabetes, especially type 2 diabetes, and also just people who are obese, especially morbidly obese. And the results were astounding. Every single one of those people, kinds of people in those groups, suffered from a very marked deficiency in arginine, citrulline, and in nitric oxide production. The key was a deficiency in nitric oxide production compared to perfectly healthy individuals with no cardiovascular problem, individuals without diabetes, individuals who keep in good shape by exercising, for example, maintaining, maintaining a normal weight, those people had normal production of nitric oxide. So other experiments were done. One thing, again, leads to another. And it's very clear today that if you have sufficient amount of nitric oxide produced in the body, you will not develop these diseases. This is the way the body protects itself against cardiovascular disease. If you do things that lead to a deficiency in uh, nitric oxide production, then there's a whole host of diseases that can develop.